On the eve of the Hangtown opener, you might have been given pause to wonder about the state of American motocross. The defending 450 champ Ken Roxon was out due to injury, and an all-time great Ryan Dungey was heading off into retirement. Just how exciting was the 2017 outdoors going to be? One month later, we have our answer. Lucas Bagot! Oh, what an amazing move! The Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship has started with a run of parody rarely seen in racing. Six motos in, we have seen five different winners ride four different brands to victory. Justin Bogle wins his first ever Marvin Muscan. Eli Tomac, Blake Baggett, his first ever. As the championship heads into Father's Day weekend at one of its most historic tracks, motocross in America is alive and well. Soil Pro Moto Cross Championship, sanctioned by AMA Pro Racing from Mount Morris, Pennsylvania. It's the Red Bull High Point National. Lucas Oil race recap. An unpredictable season continued to throw curveballs we didn't expect, like Eli Tomac going down while running second on the first lap. And it was a very difficult spot to get back on the bike. So by the time he did get going, he was in last place. That left his teammate Josh Grant battling for the lead with who is the 111? Steve Ferris, the points leader in the Australian National Motocross Championship, a guest this weekend, takes the lead. Baggett would get around Grant and then go after Ferris for the number one spot. And suddenly, Blake Baggett, who up until a week ago had never won a moto in this, him winning is like restoring order in this championship. How odd is that? And just to add to the oddities, Eli Tomac and Marvin Muskan end up battling for 16th place in this moto. Muskan struggling mightily. We heard he's injured. Tomac with the early crash. Blake Baggett keeps on rolling. Uh, very impressive. Yep. So trending in the right direction is Baggett. Here are your results. Also trending late in that one was Brock Tickle, who I think was, what, seventh or eighth? Yeah. Ends up getting through the rest of those riders to fourth. Anderson salvages a fifth after a pair of crashes. Sealy rounds out the top ten. Here's a Lucas Oil race recap of this 250s. More great starts from Jeremy Martin. He's gotten a couple whole shots this year. He's got another on the Geico Honda. Osborne and Plessinger are battling right with him off the start. And then Plessinger able to get Osborne, and then Osborne able to get back by. Yeah, scrubs that jump, gets the inside. The key is to keep your rhythm through here by doubling through. And uh, well, it became his favorite spot later in the race, because watch here, once again, Jeremy does not double all the way through there. And Osborne gets the inside, and that would be the loss they would see from the number 16. Yeah, set sail from their third moto win of the season for the Rockstar Energy Husqvarna rider, originally out of Virginia. Continues to roll as the points leader. Here, let's show you how he did it with the Lucas Oil race recap. Had to do some work. Jason Anderson very aggressive early. Tomac able to make the pass when Anderson makes a mistake. That probably wouldn't have been that simple. But Anderson left the door open and Tomac had it. Anderson and Brock Tickle were battling and then Blake Baggett got into that mix. First he takes the measure of Anderson and then quickly after Tickle here on the yellow number 20 to get into second. And with that move around the outside, this was all in the course of a half a lap that yeah. he made those two passes. He put the hammer down and tried to catch Tomac. Closed in for about four laps, but then couldn't get any further than that. And Tomac was free to win this moto. But the problem, as Tomac mentioned, was that in the first moto earlier today, he crashed, came from last to 12th. So Tomac has a 12th and a first on the day. Baggett has a first and a second. That's a clear overall victory for Baggett. That's two in a row. Here are your results in this moto. Great one for Brock Tickle again. He is, as always, the silent assassin. Cooper went fifth, Marvin Muskan digging out a six. Nicely done. More good starts for Jeremy Martin, but also his brother Alex in the hunt. And Alex is going to chop everybody off, including Aaron Plessinger, put the 26. Charlie Designs KTM out front. But midway through the race, Alex would be caught by his brother Jeremy, and then Jeremy gets to the inside. This is awesome right here. The two brothers battling side by side in midair. Nice little look over from Alex. Hey, Jeremy didn't look back at him. <laughs> Jeremy wanted to get to the front. He gets to the number one spot. And from there, he was able to pull away. Alex would lose some spots, slide back to fourth. Great battle here between Osborne and Ferrandez. Osborne needed these passes. Try to prevent Jeremy Martin from gaining any points on him today. He would get all the way to second. He'd have a 1-2 on the day, but Jeremy Martin with a 2-1. 
Tiebreakers, the better second moto, wins his first overall win of the season and 12th of his career. Plessinger, on a day that we weren't sure he'd even be able to race, finishes up in third.